Well, I'm traveling across America and I'm here in a little town in southern Michigan called Hillsdale. And this is Hillsdale College. And it was formed in the 1840s by a group of abolitionists. And it became the first college to ever put in their charter uh, that they will not discriminate on the basis of race or sex or anything like that. And it is actually one of the only universities in the United States that takes absolutely no federal money and I believe no state money either as of maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Um, you can see here on their quad they've got a statue of Abraham Lincoln um, which is kind of cool and I got to show you this on the other side here. This is called the uh, Cressage, I think I'm pronouncing it right, Cressage Plaza. <clears throat> and on the other side, opposite of Abraham Lincoln, which I think is appropriate, you have Frederick Douglass, uh, the abolitionist leader of the uh, 19th century, and women's rights advocate as well. Um, it's a beautiful little campus. This is very small. There's only about 14 or 1500 students here, which is actually smaller than the high school that I teach at. Um, and it's a little bit of a controversial place as well because uh, it is considered to be the most conservative college in America. And um, kind of the center of conservative thought, you might say. And so, some place that I'm traveling to on my travels around America. Someday I'll go to the most liberal college in America. I hear it's called, I think it's Mills College, which is in Oakland. And it's said to be the most liberal college in America. And I don't know what the most libertarian college would be. I'm not really sure where that is. But here I am on the campus of Hillsdale College uh, in Hillsdale, uh, Michigan.